Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel, brochettes, grilled skewers of meat, often chicken, goat, or beef, seasoned with spices. Here's a basic recipe for chicken brochettes, one of the most popular variations. Ingredients. One kilogram, about two pounds. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts or thighs, cut into one inch cubes. One four cup olive oil or vegetable oil, three cloves garlic. Minced one tablespoon paprika. One teaspoon ground. Cumin. One teaspoon ground. Coriander, one two teaspoon cayenne pepper. Adjust to taste for spiciness. One teaspoon salt or to taste freshly ground black pepper. To taste juice of one lemon, or lime wooden, or metal skewers. If using wooden skewers, soak them in water for at least 30 minutes to prevent burning. Instructions. In a large bowl, combine the olive oil, minced garlic, paprika, cumin, coriander, cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, and lemon or lime juice. Mix well to combine and create the marinade. Add the cubed chicken pieces to the marinade, ensuring they are well coated. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap or transfer the mixture to a resealable plastic bag. Allow the chicken to marinate in the refrigerator for at least one hour, or ideally overnight, to allow the flavors to develop. If using wooden skewers, make sure to soak them in water for at least 30 minutes prior to assembling the brochettes to prevent them from burning on the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If using a charcoal grill, ensure the coals are hot and evenly distributed. Thread the marinated chicken pieces onto the skewers, leaving a little space between each piece to ensure even cooking. Once the grill is hot, place the chicken skewers on the grill grate. Cook for about four, five minutes on each side, or until the chicken is cooked through and has a nice, charred exterior. Rotate the skewers occasionally to ensure even cooking. Once cooked, remove the brochettes from the grill and transfer them to a serving platter. Allow them to rest for a few minutes before serving. Serve the chicken brochettes hot, garnished with fresh herbs if desired, and accompanied by your favorite sides, such as rice, grilled vegetables, or simple salad, so-so, grilled fish seasoned with local spices. So-so is a popular street food in the Central African Republic, particularly in areas where freshwater fish is abundant. It's essentially grilled fish, seasoned with local spices. Here's how you can prepare it. Ingredients. Fresh fish, preferably tilapia, catfish, or similar freshwater fish. Cleaned and scaled salt, to taste black pepper, to taste ground chili powder, or crushed red pepper flakes, to taste lemon or lime wedges, for serving optional, minced garlic, chopped onions, or other spices of your choice instructions. Start by cleaning and scaling the fresh fish thoroughly. If desired, you can also remove the head and tail, although some prefer to leave them intact for added flavor during grilling. Once the fish is cleaned, pat it dry with paper towels to remove excess moisture. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If using a charcoal grill, Make sure the coals are hot and evenly distributed. Season the fish generously with salt, black pepper, and ground chili powder, or crushed red pepper flakes. You can also add minced garlic, chopped onions, or other spices of your choice for additional flavor. If the fish is particularly large, you can make diagonal cuts on both sides of the fish to help the seasoning penetrate and ensure even cooking. Place the seasoned fish directly onto the grill grate, making sure it's well oiled to prevent sticking. Grill the fish for about five, seven minutes on each side, 
depending on the size and thickness of the fish, until it is cooked through and has a nice, charred exterior. The fish is done when it flakes easily with a fork and has reached an internal temperature of 145 degree F, 63 degree C. Once cooked, carefully remove the fish from the grill, using a spatula or tongs, and transfer it to a serving platter. Serve the grilled fish hot, garnished with fresh lemon or lime wedges for squeezing over the fish. Boulette. Meatballs served in a sauce or skewered for grilling. Boulette are meatballs that are commonly enjoyed as a street food and as part of traditional Central African cuisine. Here's a simple recipe for making boulettes. Ingredients. For the meatballs, 500 G ground beef, or a mixture of ground beef and pork. One onion, finely chopped two cloves garlic, minced one four cup breadcrumbs. One egg, one teaspoon salt, one two teaspoon black pepper, one two teaspoon paprika, one two teaspoon ground cumin, one four teaspoon cayenne pepper, optional for heat. Cooking oil for frying. For the sauce, one onion, finely chopped two cloves garlic, minced one can, 400 G, crushed tomatoes, one cup beef or chicken broth, one teaspoon dried thyme, one teaspoon dried oregano salt and pepper. To taste, chopped fresh parsley. For garnish, optional. Instructions. In a large mixing bowl, combine the ground meat, chopped onion, minced garlic, breadcrumbs, egg, salt, black pepper, paprika, cumin, and cayenne pepper, if using. Mix well until all ingredients are evenly incorporated. Shape the meat mixture into small balls, about 1 to 1.5 inches in diameter, and place them on a plate or baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Heat a couple of tablespoons of cooking oil in a large skillet or frying pan over medium heat. Once the oil is hot, add the meatballs in batches making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Cook the meatballs for about three, four minutes on each side, or until they are browned and cooked through. Transfer the cooked meatballs to a plate lined with paper towels to drain excess oil. In the same skillet, add a bit more oil if needed, then saute the chopped onion and minced garlic until softened and fragrant, about two, three minutes. Add the crushed tomatoes, beef or chicken broth, dried thyme, and dried oregano to the skillet. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Stir to combine and bring the sauce to a simmer. Once the sauce is simmering, return the cooked meatballs to the skillet. Reduce the heat to low, cover, and let the meatballs simmer in the sauce for about 10, 15 minutes allowing the flavors to melt together. Taste the sauce and adjust the seasoning if needed. If the sauce is too thick, you can add a bit more broth or water to thin it out. Serve the boulettes hot, garnished with chopped fresh parsley if desired. They can be enjoyed on their own as a snack or appetizer, or served with rice, pasta, or crusty bread for a more substantial meal. Poisson braisé, grilled fish, often served with spicy sauce. Poisson braisé is a delicious grilled fish dish enjoyed in many West and Central African countries, including the Central African Republic. Here's a simple recipe to prepare it. Ingredients. One whole fish, tilapia, catfish, or any firm-fleshed fish, cleaned and scaled too. Three cloves garlic. Minced one onion, finely chopped one teaspoon ground, ginger, one teaspoon ground paprika, one teaspoon ground cumin, one teaspoon ground coriander, one two teaspoon cayenne pepper, adjust to taste, juice of one, two lemons or lime salt, to taste black pepper, to taste cooking oil, preferably vegetable oil, for grilling fresh parsley or cilantro, chopped, for garnish optional. 
Instructions Start by cleaning and scaling the fish thoroughly. Make diagonal cuts on both sides of the fish, which will help the marinade penetrate and ensure even cooking. In a bowl, combine the minced garlic, chopped onion, ground ginger, ground paprika, ground cumin, ground coriander, cayenne pepper, lemon or lime juice, salt, and black pepper. Mix well to form a marinade. Rub the marinade all over the fish, making sure to coat it evenly, including inside the cuts. Allow the fish to marinate for at least 30 minutes to one hour, or preferably overnight in the refrigerator, to allow the flavors to meld. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If using a charcoal grill, make sure the coals are hot and evenly distributed. Lightly oil the grill grates to prevent the fish from sticking. Place the marinated fish directly onto the grill grates. Grill the fish for about five, seven minutes on each side, or until it is cooked through and has a nice charred exterior. The fish is done when it flakes easily with a fork and has reached an internal temperature of 145 degree F, 63 degree C. Once cooked, carefully remove the fish from the grill using a spatula or tongs and transfer it to a serving platter. Garnish the grilled fish with chopped fresh parsley or cilantro if desired, and serve hot with your favorite side dishes such as steamed rice, grilled vegetables, or a salad. Beignet, deep-fried donuts or fritters, sometimes filled with fruit or meat. Beignet, often referred to as African beignet or African donut, is a popular street food and snack enjoyed in many parts of Africa, including the Central African Republic. Here's a simple recipe to prepare them. Ingredients. Two cups all-purpose flour. One four cup granulated sugar. One teaspoon baking powder. One two teaspoon salt. One two teaspoon ground nutmeg, optional. Two large eggs. One two cup milk. Two tablespoons melted butter or vegetable oil. Vegetable oil for frying powdered sugar for dusting, optional. Instructions. In a large mixing bowl, Whisk together the all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, baking powder, salt, and ground nutmeg, if using. In a separate bowl, beat the eggs lightly. Then add the milk and melted butter or vegetable oil. Mix until well combined. Pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and stir until a thick batter forms. The batter should be smooth and free of lumps. Heat vegetable oil in a deep frying pan or pot to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius, for frying. Using a spoon or cookie scoop, carefully drop spoonfuls of batter into the hot oil. You can also use your hands to shape the batter into small balls before frying. Fry the beignets in batches, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Cook them for about two, three minutes on each side, or until they are golden brown and puffed up. Once cooked, use a slotted spoon to remove the beignets from the oil and transfer them to a plate lined with paper towels to drain excess oil. Allow the beignets to cool slightly before serving. Optionally, dust them with powdered sugar for extra sweetness. Serve the beignets warm as a delicious snack or dessert. They can be enjoyed on their own or paired with a cup of coffee or tea.